Hello and welcome YouTubers to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your GetResponse account, your email list and your squeeze page. As promised, I'm going to show you how to set up your GetResponse account, your email list and your squeeze page. But before we get to it, I would like to give you a little bit of overview why this is so important and why this plays a big key role of being a powerful component on behalf of your business. Now, you may not know or you may know there is something out there that's called the market cycle. The market cycle for each business could be healthy or unhealthy. Healthy means it performs with the business. Unhealthy means it performs against the business. Now, each business component is responsible to perform under a, s a different settings of business. So what do I mean by that? I mean that the product or service is broken down into varieties of categories. So it could be a physical, it could be a digital product, a service could be a one-time service or it could be a subscription service. Then it's broken down into audience. Okay, you have a different uh, buying personas. Uh, so it means you are broken down to into age, uh, gender, uh, hobbies, needs, desires, and necessary solutions that your audience may need. Then your overall audience on this product of yours can be offered on a, on a specific platform. Okay. Now from that platform, if your audience are willing to hop into your offer or what you're offering, you need to create something that's called a squeeze page because this squeeze page will allow you to add your audience to an email list and that email list will contribute to future sales so what do i mean by that so when you have an email list it becomes the most powerful tool of 21st century and why it's because if tomorrow let's say 12 p.m. all the social platforms shut down then unfortunately my dear friend you have nothing left because you do not have an email list you do not have a monitored track record of your consumers so this automatically exposes your business for a risk and an exposed risk to your business is unhealthy so this means that the market cycle is currently performing against your business now and ask yourself how long will it last to still survive and sustain your business operations it's not going to be that long because now you need to open a different circle or a different market cycle for your business and this is not so easily done that's why a lot of entrepreneurs invest a huge amount of time in developing something that's called the market cycle for them okay now email and a squeeze page are the missing links that will allow you to completely have a market cycle when the market cycle works against you you probably have some links missing again okay that it could be like a squeeze page or email list is missing or maybe your um, platform for your audience is missing and this basically means if one link is missing then you your market cycle is currently performing against your business when the market cycle is performing with your business, it means you have all the six elements in place combined and they work in one direction towards your desired destination. Okay, now I will jump in to show you how to actually set up your get response account. Um, and also we're going to look how to set up an email list. And I'm sure we're going to give you just a little example how to set up your squeeze page, how to actually include the URL links to it and kind of show you a little bit what can you do with it and let's just jump into it so i'm currently on the get response home page if you do not have, know how to locate a get response home page you go to your browser you go to google and you search get response and it will automatically give you getresponse.com. just sign on to the GetResponse.com and you'll be taken out to my homepage. So this is the layout of their homepage. So you have a couple of the options. We have solution, we have features, pricing, and support. 
Now for this um, tutorial purposes, we're going to create the account or we're going to log on to our existing account. Now I have account already, but you can actually do to sign up for free, which will also give you the option to have 30 days of free trial where you can trial out get response. I already have account created by the 30 days trial. I have about 22 days left. So, and the reason I did this is very simple. When you want to pay your subscription, it's just business wise, it just allows you to save uh, about 10 euro. So when you, when you create your free trial account, let that trial to expire and then hop into the subscription. Because if you're automatically going to um, hop into subscription, what's going to happen? You will not have 30 days trial. You'll be just automatically given the first month under your subscription. Now, just log into your account if you haven't have account create your account and then log in i'm just going to log in straight away because i already have account so just log on so i'm currently logged into onto the dashboard of get response so currently as you can see this is the layout of get response so what can you see we see the create form, create landing page, add contacts, create autoresponder. Then on the top toolbar, we have lists, reports, drafts, and create. On the top left corner, we have menu. Now click menu, just to give you a kind of sense of what you have. So these are the communicational tools. We have the email marketing, autoresponder, automations, webinars, web push notification, chats, website builders paid ads forms landing pages conversion funnels so as you can see already get response gives you a variety of options to benefit your business from also allowing you to tweak the performance through paid ads and creating landing pages so there's a lot of varieties that get response gives when it comes to your business and when it comes to actually growing and scaling your business now these are other type of forms that we could get in maybe later on I will create a tutorial for it but for this tutorial purpose I will show you how to create a list and your squeeze page so all you need to do is find where it says lists which will be on the top toolbar just click on lists let it to load let it open and then automatically it will open and all you're going to do is just going to click create list so click create list so this uh, tutorial purposes i'm going to call it review zone that's the youtube channel that i operate under so i'm just going to click create so your list already exists okay i actually did that before so let's do review zone uh, youtube okay so we're just going to click create and now so we have it created here as you can see it says review zone youtube but i have number of contacts zero okay so how we can actually get contacts and how we can get them is by uh, creating a squeeze page and the squeeze page automatically allows your audience to hop into your email list and then from your email list you can personalize and tailor the engagement to later on in the future sell to the email list so what we do we go menu under the menu settings you will see forms click on forms just wait till that opens now it will give you to create a new form so we're going to create a new form <clears throat> now it op automatically is going to open up their uh, design and their editing uh, settings also they have integrations plain HTML list builder apps and list builder wizards so just under here you will have all the templates given to you okay so there's a variety of templates on the left hand side you can see also different select uh, selections from to search from now for this tutorial purposes just create in the squeeze page i will just choose this one okay but however you can choose whatever is convenient for yourself whichever suits you your needs and your business 
for this tutorial I'm gonna choose this I'm just gonna wait till it loads up as well just give it a second so now we have opened up our template this is the overall look of template on the right hand side you have a toolbar on the toolbar you have a first name last name birth date address gender phone mobile home phone work phone fax okay now usually if you want to use any of these options all you need to do is let's say this is the name i'm just going to take the name there's a little bin uh, icon of bin just click the icon it's going to take off and then let's say we want to uh, insert you just drag it onto the template and we automatically insert the first name usually i would like to prefer the option of having the first name rather than the name because then it allows your audience to actually give their first name because in the 21st century we we'll have audience with our consumers would do they will put another name than their first name now you have that <clears throat> now instead of email i would actually like to show you to put a different um <clears throat> a different uh, insert different uh, contents so instead of saying just an email i would say your your best your best email address okay <clears throat> and the reason is also simple here i have about three to four email addresses and i usually give two to about two email addresses but if i ultimately have my best email address because this is an emotional stimuli okay it will stimulate automatically on the, like on a frequency it will go bam okay your best email address the person wouldn't even have time to think they would just automatically think of their best email address and they automatically will give you that now instead of saying let's do it i'm also going to change that so a little hack here for you instead of just saying let's do it i'm going to say deliver now it's going to give that urgency it's going to give that call to action and is allow them to hop in immediately because usually when you say send it, i know in 21st century you get it also bang but it's just it just gives them more urgency okay but for yourself if you wish you could do whatever you think it's right for you so for that i'm gonna say deliver now okay so uh, also allow me to show you have to size your delivery button so under here just click on it and you can make it is to whatever size you want okay just put like something like this perfect okay now next we're gonna do something about this text so for these tutorial purposes i said i created it under reviews on youtube so i'm gonna write grab or no we're gonna do send yourself yourself the free free copy and the link to your address so that's what we're gonna say and uh, just let me change the font on this as well just gonna go for the archival black okay if you want you can change the color of the text as well to whatever you think you want okay so i will just change to red just want to match all them okay so there we go so that's how it looks it looks nice i think and the key to this is not to have anything too much stuffed in there 
because once you have everything too much stuffed in it just um, it doesn't look neat it doesn't look sharp anymore so the key is to not stuff too much things in it so let me actually also give you some Uh, border, border style. We can do border style as well. And then we can change the color of the border as well. Just to give it more, a little bit the funky look to it. Okay, you see the border style there. Now what else we can do? You can also add if you want a phone number, if you want to contact them for phone number but that's about it you can also uh, like put a link into this button but that's not necessary now there's other couple features you need to know if you double click on the background of your template there's backgrounds okay you can insert an image if you want if it's necessary if you want something like this you can insert an image but if you are happy with your, let's say you are now happy with your template, so we have the first name, your best email address delivered now, send yourself the free copy and the link to your address. Now you can have anything what you want to say. If you have a specific offer, specific description of your offer, or specifically you maybe want to tailor it, by all means, do it. Let's go and let's, let's, I'm going to show you how to make sure that this is all linked up to your email list so click settings it's gonna give you settings now under the settings <clears throat> you're gonna choose your list so I said review zone YouTube that's my list then I'm gonna say okay so we're gonna say where it says choose thank you page you're gonna go custom and over here you're gonna put in your link okay so it could be whatever link it is uh, you can put whatever link you want okay so for this i'm just this quickly just to show you how it's gonna look and then we're gonna go up and click save just now okay and then publish now we're gonna it's gonna say to you we installed the form which give you the have script you do not want to do that you want to put get response then you copy this and I'm gonna show you so now you're gonna go to the new page open on your search Okay, and click enter. Just want to show you what you get. Now, you can open that, and then here we go. We have a new squeeze page. So, this is automatically a URL. Now, this URL will allow your consumers to hop into your email list where it will allow them to engage with your business okay now if you like this content and if you want more content smash the like button subscribe and i see you in the next video ciao